Hello, my name is Wolverine McStud. Welcome to this episode of Condoms Prevent Minivans. Today I'll be working on my 2000 Voyager. She's not idling real well. So I'm going to change out the air filter and clean out the throttle body. Now I already put in some fuel injector cleaner into the gasoline tank. I'm going to get started. To change out the air filter, I'm going to start by removing these two bolts with the 10 millimeter. Next, I'm going to remove this strap right here with an 8 millimeter, and I'm going to pull it off the throttle body. I like to undo the screw all the way so I can just pull it out and pull the whole strap off. Looking at the front, I'm going to come over to this side, and I'm going to remove that strap right down there. With an 8 millimeter, the same as the other one, undo this one. All the way and pull the strap out. Now I'm going to pull off the breather hose, and this should all come out. Like that. So looking at it from the front here, you can come see where it was attached right there. And if you look right down here, you'll see a strap. See that strap right there? I'm gonna un here, I'll do it with this hand. You get to see it from this side. Take that one off. There's one down lower, harder to get to, but you use this hand. You pull it off like that. Now, this piece just comes out like this. With that removed, we'll just take out the old filter. It's all dirty. And we'll put in the new one. Just like that. Then I'll put the cover back on. Come on, baby. There we go. Put the clips back on. One and two. There we go. That's the air filter. Now, if all you're doing is the air filter, you just put this piece back on and you're done. For the air filter, this isn't necessary, but for the throttle body, I'm going to remove the negative terminal from the battery. In fact, I'm going to pull the battery out so I can get a better camera shot later. For the idle air control, I'm going to remove this bracket first. Alright, so remove that. This bracket here. In fact, I'm going to pull these wires off. Move that out of the way. Now there's a screw here and a screw on the back side that require a T20. I'm going to take those out right now. There's one screw. This next one's going to be a little more complicated to get to. I'm going to use an extension like that on my little ratchet. Should be able to get her out. I got her backed out all the way, so this should go in and then save the day. There it is. Now I'm going to pull this sensor out right here. It's all sorts of dirty. Put a rag underneath it like this. Now I'm going to use some throttle body and air intake cleaner. Looks like that. And I'm going to spray that sensor down. Let it sit a while. And then I'm going to spray the hole inside of here. Pull the throttle open. Stay all in there. It was down here. I'm going to spray all that clean too. Now I'm going to let that sit for just a little while. Then I'm going to spray it again and clean it all out. Use a rag and clean this up. You can see the dirt that was on there. See all the dirt that's in there? Make sure you wipe everything down real good. All right, now I'm gonna let that sit about an hour and I'm gonna come back and reassemble it. At this point, I'm just gonna reassemble everything and call it a day.
All right, she's done. I'm going to start her up. I started her up and she's running pretty good. Quick rundown, I changed the filter and I cleaned out the throttle body and the air intake control valve. Now I could have pulled the whole thing apart and cleaned it out a little better, but that would have required me to get some extra parts. This is a quick way for me to fix my idle problem. My name is Wolverine McStud and thanks for watching this episode of No One Else Really Cares If Your Kid Was Student of the Month. Don't forget to leave your hate comments. Bye bye. Bye bye. Come and bounce with me, bounce with me. Listen to that. Sing, sing. <laughs>